Hello Yorktown, I'm student meteorologist Eddie. It's right around 1 o'clock and the temperature outside is a cool 68 degrees. As you can see from the parking lot behind me, we're currently experiencing clear sky. Today appears to be a perfect day to play some tag or ride a bike. As always, have yourself a wonderful day and let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for that update, Eddie. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Cameron and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. How do you organize a space party? You plan it. What job did the frog have at the hotel? Bellhop. Join us again for some more jokes tomorrow. And until then, let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, Cameron. Now for all the word levels out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Xavier, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is vow. Vow is a noun. Vow is defined as a solemn or sacred pledge. Promise and pledge are synonyms for vow. In a sentence, vow can be used like this. I vow to never tell that secret. Vow, can you use it today? Thanks kids, now let's go to Ryan with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Ryan. Today's true or false topic is the core. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. True or false, the core has been a thing since 2015, true. True or false? Before the core, kids took a class on video production. True. True or false? The core's colors are green and white. True. True or false? The first video of the core was 2 minutes and 36 seconds long. False. It was 2 minutes and 22 seconds long. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now from the creative minds of Eliana and Jason, it's today's shot motion short titled, How to Draw a Comic. middle school we strive to be safe responsible and respectful today we ask kids how could they be safe responsible and respectful in the hallway let's see what they said I can be safe responsible and respectful by listening to the teachers in the hallways I can walk in the hallways a way you could be respectful is by walking slowly and not running not to shove or run and like help people with their like books that they need help. Responsible in the hallway is to stay tight to the right and be a role model for other students. A way to be safe in the hallways is to not push anybody, don't run and be and help people if their stuff fall. A way to be safe in the hallway during classes is never run in the hallways. What I can be respectful by not shoving people when I'm getting to my class. You cannot run in the halls. <laughs> Great job, kids! Now let's go to Jefferson with Today in History. Hello, my name is Jefferson, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On this date in the year 1777, George Washington learns about Conway Cabal. Based on this event, we're going to focus today's facts on George Washington. George Washington is the only U.S. president to have never occupied the White House. George Washington was awarded the highest rank in the U.S. military, and it will stay that way for the rest of time. This has been Today in History for November 3rd, 2017. Now let's take it back to the studio. My favorite activity in core class was doing the marble race. My favorite part of my first core class was doing a puff mobile activity. My favorite part of the first core class was doing these bridges out of straws and then putting them across the tables and then we weighed them, so yeah. My favorite part of this core class was we made tessellations out of index cards. My favorite part about core class was that Mr. Taglia made learning fun. Was we always got to do fun stuff and she, always, she helped us with everything we needed help with. And my favorite part of my first core class was that Ms. Tartaglia was really nice to us and she helped us with everything that we needed help with. My favorite thing about the first part of core was how we kind of like just, it was kind of like a free period. We kind of just like fooled around and had fun. 
My favorite thing in the beginning of court is how we always laughed and we would make each other smile. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to Cynthia with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Cynthia, and today's lesson is from science class. Today in science class, we learned about benthic macroinvertebrates. Benthic macroinvertebrates live under rocks at the bottom of the stream. They are also separated into three groups based on how tolerant they are to pollution. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, Cynthia. That's our show for November 3rd, 2017. We would like to thank all of the students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again in a few weeks when a new core cast takes over the studio. Until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful. Bye.